Douglas. Edward, please. It's my decision. I know that. You know that. But what does anyone else know? Nothing. I'm assuming Donald doesn't even know. I'm right, aren't I? Lady knows. What? Your brother's girlfriend? That lady? How many others do you know, Ed? Can't you see? This is all the more reason why you should tell everyone. I get shunned from here to Vickers Town. I do think so. If you don't, that'll definitely happen. If you do, maybe someone will understand. Me and Lady do, don't we? My pistons are dreadful today. Whatever is happening? I don't think you can carry on like this. Not as train as fast as this. Come on, we can call for help. Let's get you into the siding. Oh dear, Gordon, aren't you quite a slow coach? You're making this train late. I guess I'll have to take over. Rest your wheels. You deserve it. Oh, what's going on? I'll tell you what, our James with his supermassive ego is pulling the express. It's actually plain old trouble. <laughs> You're as honest as ever, duck. Alfred, what are you doing here? This is where I work now. My role as rescue engine has become a bit lacking as of late. And work needs doing here, so naturally, here I am. Yes, that's right, Percy. Show Alfred around and what to do. No need, sir. I can find my own way. I'm the one who helps engines. Engines don't help me. But what if you get lost? This place can only be so big. I'll work it out, Percy. I always do. We should probably keep an eye on him, Percy. Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, I've just been working non-stop is all. You look like you've been through the wars. <laughs> I feel like it as well. Well, you're here now. Rest your wheels. I'll take your train. Aye. Uh, listen, can you go to Tip of Shares tonight? I need to tell you all something and it's quite important. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I hope it's nothing bad. Come on, I'm sure it won't be. Now off you go. Come on, lads, get up. I can't. Oh, I'll phone for help. Oh, James, when you said rest your wheels, were you talking to yourself? First side of madness, that is, talking to yourself. Come on, let me help you up the hill. Pfft, fine. James taking on more than he can handle. Oh, 
Is that so? Shut up, you galloping blue sausage. Touched a nerve, have I, James? I think so. Come on, come on. Alfred, are you okay? No. Ugh, I've broken down. Uh, you've taken on more than you can handle, old boy. You should have let Percy help you. Yes, you should have. Everyone needs someone to help at one point or another, Alfred. Huh, <sighs> maybe so. Come on, I'll take you to the sheds, then I'll take your train. Uh, Sue, so, uh, what do you want to say, doggy? Um, listen, everyone. There's no easy way to say this, oh. but I'll be with Douglas. We'll be here all night at this rate. We will be anyway, James. Oh, yeah. Let him finish, everyone. When I pulled the controllers to the station the other day, one of them offered me a place as the express engine on their railway, and I'm accepting it. I... I don't know what to say. Well, I do! What the hell, doggy? Oh, Donald. You and I know I was never meant to be here. I'm the twin with nothing to stay for. I'm the twin that was never meant to be here in the first place. Are you saying what I think you said? It was he the twin? What do you mean you've got nothing to stay for? I'm here! That's not what I mean. You have someone to stay for. Lady? Oh, so you're jealous, is that it? No. You don't have to worry on that front. I'm just sick of third wheeling all the time and being nothing more than your brother. I want to make a name for myself and I kinda do that without your blessing, don't I? My blessing? <laughs> That'll be the day! You tell me you got nothing to stay for and then ask for my blessing? Well, I'll tell you something, Douglas! You can get my blessing when I'm dead! And not a second too late, too! 